I, I'll give you a funny story. Um, I had a guy come up to me and, and he says, um, he says, oh yeah, you're a great player, but you didn't score any that many goals. And I thought, well, I still scored over 100 goals in the Premier League. He goes, no, you never. A guy came to me and told me I didn't score that many goals. I was like, well, I did. If you look on the record, oh, I didn't know that you scored that many goals. And it's 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 a whole it's a whole perception of of um, what you see, how you see a player, and what you what you think of them. Um, so I did score uh, my fair share of goals, and when I look at others, they don't get the same criticism when they didn't score as many as me. Exactly. But I'm not- guessing that when you when you're at when you're at the at the the, the elite level. I'm guessing there's certain people you, you're more in you're more in the public eye, and and there's certain people are there to be to be shot at. Now I formed a partnership with Michael that I enjoyed a lot, to be honest with you. And we both got we both got uh, a lot of accolades out of it. Um, if you don't have um, uh, if you have if you had eleven or even five or six selfish players. You're not going to score goals. Yes, you'll get the goal, but you're not going to score the, the amount of goals that you you want to. And we we managed to form a partnership. My, me, myself, Michael, myself, Michael, uh, Robbie, uh, Yari Lipman, uh, Milan Barros. We managed to score goals uh, between us, and we managed to chip in with 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 our fair share. So I don't I don't buy into that and. It's about a team game. You look consistently over your career, you look at the England managers that picture, you look at the coaches that have always put you in the team, and you look at the reaction from your peers to yourself. People who actually understand football value your role so much. It is an invaluable thing. You look at the five cup finals in the quintuple period for Liverpool. Every final you started. So surely yeah. the actual actions of people who understand football is immensely more valuable than anything a fan would say, with all due respect to them. Yeah, I think I think, I think you're right in, in saying that, but a lot of uh, other people will spin it another way and say, um, uh, "What was it? Was he just liked more than the others?" And well, well you you don't play people for being liked. You play people yeah. for uh, uh, feeding into the, the the narrative that you're putting out there. So if I want you to, if I'm playing four three three, and I want two sitting midfielders, and one midfielder, one of the midfielders just keeps going, and then you end up with one sitting midfielder. That's that one that keeps going. You're going to bring him off, yeah, even though he sure. might be. Because you're not doing what you're told, and this is what I say to young young players. I always say this: a lot of young players will look at some some players and say, um, "Why is he playing ahead of me?" And I will I will ask them, "What is he doing more than you?" Well, all he does is run around, mm-hmm. runs around and tackles. Well, okay, you run around more than him, tackle more than him, because you seem to think that you've got more skill and your your offensive work is better than him. Well, do the defensive work just as good as him and show them your offensive work, you'll shine, you'll shine more. But people don't see it that way. They just want to do their own thing. Well, the thing is, though, if you have a team of 11 Galacticos, it's, that's not a team. It's not that's not a team. Not team. Not it'd, be, it'd be chaos. It'd be absolutely chaos. But with regards to the fans, I mean, for you personally, how do you deal with that? For instance, you know, just ignoring what they say and just being so focused on what you do. Where are the down points for you? Um, yeah, there was obviously down points um, within the game and stuff like that. But uh, I, 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 I was mentally strong to get to where I was. I can't let anyone spoil that for me. This is my, this is my career. It's not theirs. Uh, the thing is, if it was their career, they'd be next to me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, they'll be next 100%. to me doing. They'll be next to me doing do, doing all the hard work with me. They're not. They're in the stand. So. I, I appreciated the, the managers. Uh, managers. Managers have got a massive thing, and they don't realise it sometimes. They've got a massive thing for players. Um, if a manager doesn't like you, you know about it. And then you suddenly start to wilt away, and you've got to be f- mentally really strong for yourself if, you, if your manager doesn't like you. But if a manager loves you, regardless mm-hmm. of whether you're playing or not, it's, it's a great thing because you're always feeling positive. You're always feeling that you, you're ready to go. Mm-hmm. And this is one of the things about Jurgen Klopp. Even when it, even when um, uh, Mane and Salah had that little spat on the pitch, he seemed to have been able to get them back together straight away. And this is what you want. You don't want that to be festering. Yeah. And he seems to have he seems to have that about him. It sounds like I think Klopp's the best of both Martin O'Neill and Julian. Bring them together with a tactical Yeah. I think so, and he's got good. We've got, we, you know, we we have to give him. Uh, you got to give his backroom staff a little bit of a, uh, a praise as well, because he's got that. He must have that right as well, because it can't just be him. 
we had um, Patrice Berg and we had uh, Sammy Lee. Um, we actually, Phil Thompson was quite good in a sense that he was just the angry one. Yeah. You know, we need that sometimes because it's not, it's not all the time it can be nice. You need to put someone on their toes a little bit. Yeah. And sure. you know that within football, if it's if it's too nice, you take the you take the mick, you take the piss a little bit. You know that. Yeah. So you need someone to put you on your toes a little bit. And we had Phil, we had Phil Thompson. Everything was effing and blinded. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, that's invaluable. But you need the good cop, bad cop sometimes, huh? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent.